Hey there, friends. Um, I'm going to leave in the neighborhood dog barking sound. I think that adds some atmosphere. What I wanted to do in this video, this is kind of an encore performance. After workshops one and two, I kind of tantalized you with things that I'm not prepared to deliver or tell you where to get exactly. And I wanted to make this bigger so you could appreciate more of the size and scale. It's pretty heavy and it's kind of fun to make and I have a lot of it in my backyard which is like a sculpture garden actually. You could make an appointment or something. Anyway, I'll be having meetings here. I want this house to be like a meeting house and I might actually, um, you know, refurnish it with different people's stuff because my stuff's somewhere else, right? We might do some swaps. But this now, I don't, what I want to do in this video is talk about things you can get on the market that are out there. And I know a lot of people are intrigued by the jitterbug, but they wonder why they want one and they never, your school kids are never asked to have one or they don't come home talking about it. And yet the International Mathematicians Union, IMU, they talk a lot about it when they talk about their logo, right? Like, let's just go look at that. This is what I was talking about last time. I'm talking about something different this time. Search IMU logo. It'll probably go right there because it's good at remembering things. Somehow I got put on to Bing here, and I want to search in the YouTube space, so let's try that again. IMU logo. And this is the one I'm talking about, right? So while we're the here, motion. the motion that we are watching unfolds an octahedron to a cube octahedron, keeping. So there's your jitterbug. Pyrotahedral symmetry. Right. So tell them the math teachers want you to have it, because if anything, these aren't just falling off the chair people here. These are real mathematicians, and they're doing the jitterbug. So there's your rationale right there. All right. So we've clinched that one, but then there's a lot more you could say about it. I'm just saying, if you're just trying to get your foot in the door, cite the mathematicians. Now, what else can you actually buy on the market? I often show this toy, and this is great for a lot of reasons. Magnetic, for one thing, but also because it has this repeated tetrahedron that doesn't have handedness. And that's an important concept right there. Look up an antiomorphic and, uh, oh, is congruence a good concept? Sometimes they forget about chirality or chirality, right? Handedness is something in nature. Isomers, you get the wrong isomer, that could be a bad thing. Check it out in chemistry. Isomers, chirality. Okay, but this is a, a not left or right-handed tetrahedron that does fill space. So we have this little motto, remember the might, Aristotle was right. We usually say it the other way around. Aristotle was right, remember the might. But either way, that's minimum tetrahedron. It's not the only space-filling tetrahedron. It is not. But it is easily derived, and the volume is there as one-eighth, two A's and a B. Other toys. There's There was a whole renaissance that most people missed of beautiful wooden toys, perfect for geometry. Now they're all like probably garage sale and no one's churning these out anymore. I'm not saying we have that much wood to spare, but when we did, we made some great toys. This one especially, it, the theme is space filling rhombic dodecahedra. And if we don't let kids play with that, if they don't get to play with that, they don't. it doesn't dawn on them as quickly anyway. And so, you know, this. these are great. You can take these apart. So these are like, what, couplers or something? No, no. They're the fat and the thin or what? You know, what's the terminology? So really cool geometry here. Handsome wood. It came bundled in paper. Now, whether you can still get this kind of toy, I'm, I'm dubious. This is called Turnabout. Look on eBay. Turnabout. I'd say collector's item. Ditto for some of these others. Now here's a plastic one. And then there's the whole thing about Lux, right? Lux blocks. 
I haven't touched that. It's a brand new toy, and I have some. When I say I haven't touched it, I mean in this video, um, I don't want to go buy that quick, quickly on Lux. So I'm just giving the impression that even though we did talk about toys that I can't sell you at this time, I can I can have a workshop, but we'd have to design that, right? It'd probably be here in Portland. Because I've got responsibilities. But we may have a space here somewhere. Who knows? And um, maybe we could do a workshop. Maybe we could do... Maybe we could make a movie. <clears throat> I have this idea called Asylum City. Check it out. Playlist. School of Tomorrow. Another playlist. Alright. Talk to you soon.